Welcome everyone, I'm Spiro. Thanks for tuning in. I've been receiving a lot of questions regarding a segment from my latest interview with journalist Helen Bininsky, where we cover the UNNWO.org website, which of course stands for United Nations New World Order. Well, here in this report, we're going to fact check whether or not this is a legitimate website and whether or not this website has real and legitimate connections to United Nations, because there's a lot of confusion out there about whether or not this site is real. And I'll admit, I'm always skeptical of this sort of thing, and I encourage all of you to be skeptical of this you know, everything basically that you see out there. Take with a grain of salt and do the fact checking for yourself. Now, in my previous report, I referenced a Yahoo Finance article, which did talk about this. Now, that Yahoo Finance article actually sourced back to a PR Newswire article, which first published a story. But when you look at it closely, PR Newswire actually sources back to UNNWO. And this appears to be a paid press release that these mainstream sites were paid to pick up and and publicized basically so let's see what it says now when we look at the title it's titled united nations nwo launches covid19 coronavirus focused international day of happiness 2020 campaign theme happiness for all together i'm going to read the first paragraph and as always everything's going to be sourced below in the description and in the show notes Responding to the unprecedented sudden threat of COVID-19 to the health, happiness, and well-being of all humanity, as well as the worldwide quarantine and disruption to the global economy across every sector, industry, and the everyday life of billions of people, the United Nations International Day of Happiness, otherwise known as UNIDO Happiness, is launching the Happiness for All Together March 20. 2020 International Day of Happiness Global Campaign theme to promote and advance worldwide solidarity and unity in winning the global fight against COVID-19 coronavirus. And it hyperlinks back to the United Nations International Day of Happiness site, otherwise known as UNITO Happiness. And when you go to the site, it has a list of 10 steps that are all very pro-United Nations and very pro-World Health Organization. It has a similar logo to the United Nations. It's a fancy website, and it looks legit, right? But we want to know about the New World Order website, right? Well, the PR Newswire story picked up by Yahoo Finance also links back to the UNNWO site under the hyperlink for United Nations New World Order Project. And when we go to that site, we actually see something very different than what was displayed in my video report from yesterday. This is a screenshot from my report yesterday, and the names of Jamie Illion and Mandela are clearly listed as the founders in the About section. Well, today they are no longer in the UNNWO website About section. As we can see here today on May 25th, the names were removed. That's strange, I think, because just yesterday, as I was doing the report, they were there, published the report, here they are today, the names have been removed. I'm not saying they removed it because of my report, I'm just saying that the timing, literally yesterday the names were there, today they're gone. Now, going back to the PR Newswire article, it has a quote from Mandela, who is the grandson of Nelson Mandela, and it refers to him as the UN AIDS Global Ambassador, which Bill Gates, of course, has donated hundreds of millions of dollars to, and it also lists Mandela as the co-founder of the United Nations New World Order Project and chairman of the Mandela Institute for Humanity. Now, of course, Bill Gates and Nelson Mandela have a history together, and Bill Gates actually once pledged to donate $5 billion in support of health and anti-poverty initiatives in Africa while speaking at the annual Nelson Mandela Lecture at the University of Pretoria back in 2016. But what about the other name that disappeared from the UN NWO Project website? Jamie Illion. Well, we can see here on his Twitter account, he says he's the founder of Happy Talism and International Day of Happiness. He says he's the CEO of UN New World Order, the CEO of Happy Talists, and the CEO of Unido Happiness. And we can see that Illion Global Public Benefit Corporation is the registered owner of both UNNWO.org site and UNIDOHappiness.org sites, both sites claiming to be affiliated with United Nations. So who is Jamie Illion? Well, according to his LinkedIn profile, he is the CEO of the New World Order Project, who studied economics and international affairs. According to Crunchbase, prior to founding the United Nations International Day of Happiness, he served as United Nations advisor. And so this guy was actually a legitimate advisor to the United Nations, okay? Jamie Illion was the founder and global head of DBFX, an online global currency and commodities trading service of Deutsche Bank, which he launched in over 70 countries. Jamie also served as CEO of Swiss Quote Bank's Advanced Currency Markets USA. Jamie was also the managing director at Global Brokerage Incorporated 
So Jamie has worked as an advisor and representative at the United Nations on several international policy issues such as sustainable development, happiness and well-being, defining a new economic paradigm, poverty, disarmament, peacekeeping, and international security. Ilian conceptualized the idea of an International Day of Happiness. Ilian drafted and lobbied the United Nations Resolution 66-281, which proclaimed March 20th the International Day of Happiness and was adopted by consensus of all 193 member countries of the United Nations back in 2012. And you can see here the two official UN resolution documents, which champion the Millennium Development Goals, which appear to be... Uh, the precursor to the now UN Sustainable Development Goals. You can also see here on Crunchbase in 2011, Jamie Ilian became chairman of Ilian Global Public Benefit Corporation, which is the registered owner of both the Unido Happiness site and the UN NWO site. Ilian Public Global Benefit Corporation was originally founded in 1980 by his mother, Annabelle Ilian, as Ilian Adoption International Incorporated, a nonprofit international adoption and child social welfare organization. The organization aimed to help abandoned or orphaned children by permanently allocating them families and homes, but was shut down in 2016 according to this state.gov website. The cancellation is due to COA's findings that Ilian Adoption International Inc., failed to maintain substantial compliance with the accreditation standards in accordance with 22 CFR Part 96.27. The cancellation is effective August 5, 2016 and is permanent. Now back to Jamie Ilian. About six years ago, I had the tremendous honor, privilege and pleasure of approaching the United Nations and convincing all 193 member states and the Secretary General to create an International Day of Happiness. Additional inspiration for the International Day of Happiness came from my experience later leading gro global growth for some of the world's largest f global financial institutions, as well as serving as advisor with the United States State Department and the United States Department of Defense. Now, as you just heard, not only did Ilian work at some of the world's top financial institutions, he also served as an advisor to the State Department and the Department of Defense. According to a press release on Business Insider, Ilian was a United Nations Iraq advisor who had spent time in not only in Iraq, but also in Turkey and Syria, and traveled from that region in 2017 to attend an annual global security summit in Brussels, where Jamie Ilian also served as United Nations representative for Economists for Peace and Security. As a United Nations advisor, Ilian worked on a range of issues, including poverty eradication, food security, and financial system regulation. In the security dimension, Ilian has worked on the Small Arms Trade Treaty, which is essentially an international gun control. He also worked on the Chemical Weapons Convention, nuclear disarmament, and mercenaries. Now, quoting from Business Insider, prior to serving as United Nations Iraq advisor, Ilian was a candidate in the clandestine officer program of the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA. So is the United Nations New World Order website real? Yes, I think I've clearly demonstrated that it is verifiably real, without a doubt, 100%. But is this UN NWO website an official you know, United Nations website? It does not appear to be. It's registered to Ilian's company, not to the United Nations. But does this UN NWO website have very real connections to the United Nations? Absolutely. 100%. I would argue without a doubt that yes, this United Nations New World Order website is clearly connected to the United Nations as both founding members have served under the United Nations. Uh, for, like Mandela is the UN AIDS Global Ambassador. Okay, I've already shown you that. And uh, Jamie Ilian has served under the UN in uh, multiple positions. He was UN advisor on Iraq. UN representative for economists, peace, and security. He's the CEO of the New World Order Project for the United Nations, according to his uh, LinkedIn account. He has ties to the Department of Defense, the State Department, and the CIA. He has two UN resolutions that he lobbied and got passed and adopted by the United Nations. And the two websites that he set up are for those two UN resolutions, and they're registered to him. And they both promote the UN Sustainable Development Goals and the Unido Happiness uh, website, of course, promotes not only the UN, but also the World Health Organization. Now, I'm going to read from the About section, the new amended About section from the unnwo.org website. 
the United Nations New World Order Project is a global high-level initiative founded in 2008 to achieve a new economic paradigm, a new political order, and more broadly, a new world order for humankind, which achieves the UN's global goals for sustainable development by 2030 and the happiness, well-being, and freedom of all life on Earth by 2050. It's very strange to me that when I did the report yesterday, both Mandela and Ilian's names were there in the about section of unnwo.org, and today they're gone. But, you know, the UNNWO calls Happytalism on their website a new economic system, social political philosophy, and human development paradigm which places the primacy of happiness, well being, and freedom at the center of human development in all life. We already know that the United Nations and the central banks have been working for years on a new digital financial system which will be integrated into every aspect of our lives. I've done several reports on this. Uh, we know that the climate change agenda is a push for global governance, and this current coronavirus crisis not only fa falls directly in line with the UN 2030 agenda, it has accelerated it at this point. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more reports on kind of the big picture perspective, in addition to reports examining smaller but significant pieces of the puzzle. I did reach out to Jamie Illion uh, and invited him to be my guest here on this show for an interview. We'll see if he accepts. And I always will promise to be a fair host to my guests and allow them to have the opportunity to say what they want to say, uh, whether I agree with them or not. Uh, this isn't a trap. Uh, let's get it on record, hear from both sides, and uh, let the people decide for themselves, basically. I've already shown my hand, so I just, uh, you know, openly, genuinely, openly welcome uh, Mr. Ilian to be my guest. But for now, I want you guys to... Uh, Stay tuned for more. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter and BitChute and Activist Post. Thanks for watching. I'm Spiro.